Folks, this is part of the broadcast where I tell you to click subscribe. Okay. This is part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, about what's going on in my life. Did you find a translator? For the first day, we have the greatest translator of all time. Uh, her name is Kaho Shibuya. Um, she is a former Japanese adult video actress. She is incredible. She is brilliant. She's she's offered us so much help. It is not even funny. For those of you who are in Los Angeles or in America, I am currently in Japan. Like I said, I know it's 3:21 p.m. over there, and it's yeah, uh, it's yesterday over there. We're in Tuesday. This is Tuesday, June 20th here in Japan, 7:21 a.m. I will probably be able to live stream earlier in the mornings. As a matter of fact, the only reason why we were a little late today even though I woke up at fucking 4 a.m., uh, is because we had to, like, set this stuff up. Look at that handsome lad right here. Marat's here. Marat, you can pull up and some of the chairs as well, and the right side's probably better. Marat's here. That's right. Um, this is the happiest I've seen him in years, as a matter of fact. Uh, so yesterday, I guess yesterday or two days ago, I don't even fucking know anymore. Um, basically, on Sunday, uh, we got up. Uh, I dropped Kaya off at uh, Ray's house where uh, she started her journey of pissing, shitting, and farting in an entirely different house. Uh, apparently, from what I understand, uh, I've been getting updates from her around the clock, and she has eaten Mika's vomit. So that's cool. That's fun. Um, so there's that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's something. I guess that's something I have to fucking look out for in the future. But basically uh we got on uh what is this they're already having problems there's kaya updates okay we'll look at that in a second um we got on the plane uh it was united it's not great uh polaris it's like they they got like the lie flat seats but i can't fucking fit in it so it doesn't really do anything for me you know what i mean like the lie flat seats are supposed to be sick you know you fucking literally have a bed basically on a, on a plane right except for me it doesn't really do the job of a bed on a plane because I can't fit like physically, like I'm too wide for it. And I'm, I'm like just tall enough that I can't fully fit in the plane, like I'm uh, in, the, in the seat. So it's very uncomfortable, but it doesn't matter. It was a relatively easy flight, I would say. Uh, overall, I played a lot of Yakuza. Murat and I sat and watched one of his favorite movies, which was, uh, what's the name of the movie? American made Tom Cruise, uh, who's, uh, you know, gun running for the Contras and, and working with the CIA. <laughs> Great movie. You know, it has, it has all the, it has all the bells and whistles. Like he's got the plane stuff for him and he's got the CIA, uh, and, and counter revolutionary activity stuff for me. So, you know, we did that. That was cool. The food was fucking God awful. Some of you probably saw that I posted on my Instagram. I mean, disastrously bad. It, it's like uniquely bad you know what i mean they is really fucking bad anyway um you did not play yakuza on the way to japan bitch i've been playing yakuza in japan because you want to know why like yakuza is japan okay so i get to have more japan while i'm in japan while i'm literally while i'm actually in in bed or on a fucking uh you know in a cab or something i get to experience japan even more even further so that's been great but uh yeah yesterday we sat down uh austin is not staying with us at the house he is a bougie bitch march is also a bougie bitch also not staying uh in the house uh with us oh yeah here you want to see how fucking bad the food is there it is devastating it was like the short be short rib beef shit which was awful this it was just all so bad i i've never i've literally never refused to eat food on a plane like this before this was like my first time where i was just like i'm out i can't fucking do that why would you order that there's nothing you can't do anything there's no there's no option any sandwiches you get from the convenience i had one half of a uh combini sandwich i'm trying to monitor my food intake a little bit better this time around i'm trying to at least like fast a little bit throughout the day preserve my energy throughout the day and as you can see i'm not even drinking like the ridiculous shit that i normally was drinking because like Last time I came here, I was just like, I would literally do this uh, on any shelf uh, that I went to at a kombini and, and basically try everything. This time I have like my brands that I like. I have a understanding of what I like. This is 
the black coffee that I really enjoy and appreciate. The other one is the fire one that I really like as well. That's 15 calories. This has a little bit of sweetener in it. This one doesn't. Unsweetened black coffee all the way. And then um, basically I will be, I, I'm, I'm gonna be waiting until I uh, break my fast. I haven't had any egg sandos yet. So how long are you in Japan for bro? Till the 26th, any hangs with Julian? I actually flew in with Julian. We hung out on the plane. Um, we were we were together on the plane the entire time, uh, which was great. Um, and uh, I'll see him. He's literally just texted me. I think he just texted me. Holy shit! My hotel gym is so sad. Oh, man, I'm so dude. Streaming really is my fucking safe space. I swear to God. Streaming really fucking it it does it for me. I, I I'm not even kidding. Like I I was panicking. I was in a bad mood in the beginning. And I was like frustrated with everything that was going on. I, I was, you know, I was, uh, you know, I, I, I was just like worried that I wasn't be, gonna be able to like deliver, you know what I mean? And now that we're here and now that it's like working and everything actually started working, I'm very excited. Uh, apparently there's some Kaya updates. So let's take a look at that as well. Um, let's get started with that real quick. Okay. I Hey, I helped clean up Kaya's poop. Just saying, I, I you did. Thank you so much. Even. Thank you so much, guys. And she's a shitting and pissing monster. Yeah, I, I as expected I from a young dog, though. To be I honest, feel like, I feel like I literally feel like I'm tired, man. Like I feel like a, like a mother of two. It's awful. Right? How? <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? Now they fucking know. How long is how long has <laughs> Kaya help. been here? I, it's only been like. <laughs> I don't even think it's been a day yet. It's only been six hours. Get a hold of yourself. And then she ate it. It what? was so fat. Wait, then she that's perfect. Ate what? The? I feel like that's perfect, is it not? She so ate her what? The? It did help the cleanup a little. She's got the resilient tummy, you know, like you know how like when that's you're younger deranged. you can eat everything. Yeah. She's fucking out of control, dude. I think people don't understand. I think people literally don't understand. Like everyone thinks like, oh, your dog is cute. Like it will be fine. Everything will be great. It's super easy. And it's like, no. Uh, will there be any link up with Sea Dog Va while in Japan? It, of course, if I'm gonna hire Austin a boyfriend, I'm gonna see my boyfriend. You know what I mean? Obviously, Austin's not the only one who's gonna have fun. Um, so we'll be hanging out with Connor tonight, uh, not on camera. We're just going to have a dinner. Uh, last night we had dinner with Jake and Bake Live and Water, which was great. We went to this like all male, like what was it, like Tapanyaki, I think. I, I don't know. We went to like a, we, we went to a super sick spot. Um, I was so fucking tired. I was basically trying to stay awake as best as I could until like around 10, but I was pretty much falling asleep at the place that we were at. But, uh, you know, I, I fell asleep on the Uber uh, back home. I got an Uber, fucking passed out, and I gave up at 10, only to wake up uh, at 4 a.m. So that's uh, that's the situation here for me. But hey, at least like I was able to, at least I was able to literally, uh, you know, fix my jet lag a little bit. And I'll, I'll most likely stay up as best as I can here. But I also do want to, you know, kind of have a little bit of jet lag so that I can um, keep waking up at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. so I can get my day started super early. So 4 a.m. is not bad at all for how bad the time difference is. Problem in Japan is that the, the sun is out all day long. Like it's the sun is out at like fucking 3.30. The sun comes out at 3.30, man. What the fuck am I supposed to do? It's wild, dude. Wait, let's see. Sun rise to sun down in Japan. Yeah, the sun goes down at 7, which is early. The sun rises at 426. It's crazy. How's my back feel? It's pretty fucked up. It's not my back necessarily. It's my neck that's like messed up. Something's got to fucking hurt, you know? It's just how it is. At this point, you guys know, if I go on a vacation, if I go somewhere else, right before I do that, I have to like fuck something up. There's nothing else that we can do. Link up with Target. So last night we were supposed to link up. This is our this is our message to offline TV. Oh, you're gonna air them out. Yeah, I'm gonna air them out. Okay. This is our message to fucking offline TV. Okay. Our boy Tarek, my brother. Okay. He's out here. We want to hang out with him. I'm like, yo, what are we doing? Like, let's get some fucking food. Offline TV. Sorry. Turns out we're too big of a crowd for for offline TV. 
so we can't join him for dinner. I'm trying to do like something festive. I'm trying to get together. And it felt like it felt like offline TV was like kind of big dicking us a little bit. To be fair, it's probably for the best we didn't hang out with them last night. You yeah. almost fell asleep at the dinner table. No, my situation and, wasn't and as bad. Austin, no, Austin. Austin, Austin. Quote was having a moment. He did. Quote, you need to let me have my moment. Yeah. Quote, fuck off. I just flew across the world. Austin, <laughs> Austin was on. Austin was definitely in like primo condition he has yeah. a lot going on right yeah. now so like it's it's valid for him to be like this but i just did not think the extent of how austin was going to be a diva like i have not well i think japan woke something up in him too yeah because the customer service is so good that it ignited yeah. that deep deep horizon karen energy i don't even i don't even know he is the fucking he is the karen gaijin or not the gaijin the 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 kaiju yeah he is the godzilla of karens 